in the twenties before the automobiles and trucks. We lived down the road about <clears throat> twelve miles from Tabahannock. But the roads were so bad that water travel was much better. My father would go to shops more often than he would to Tabahannock in the boat. And Sharp said two or three good big country stores, grocery stores, had a little bank over there and so on. And he could get in a boat and in forty five minutes be at Sharp. But in the winter time, sometime it was almost impossible to get to Tabahannock in a horse and buggy. Was also there was no electricity until the thirties, thirty two or three. And food stores and refrigeration was a problem. There was an ice plant at Welfer's Wall. Now, I don't know how much you know about the geography of the road, but that's about six miles up the road, about halfway between here and Bowles Wall, and they had an ice plant run by gasoline engine and uh, my father would pull a big boat up there and get two or three cakes of ice, cover it up good, pull it down and get as close as he could to the shore at home, bring the horse and wagon down to the road, put the ice on <laughs> and carried up and had a big ice box behind the house, insulated the best they could, and put that ice in there, and that would last a week or 10 days. And of course they had little ice boxes in the kitchen, you know what they look like. With 25 or 30 pounds of ice in it at the top, and the food stores in the bottom. But that was <coughs> part of the, a big part of the refrigeration. Of course, before that, some people would dig holes in the ground and cut ice off of ponds and uh, store it underground as long as they could. 